this is a little article that was spread on Daily Mail and it's I think an extract taken from the Emirata podcast where Julia Fox sat down with her and spoke about obviously Kanye because you know there's nothing else you want to speak about Julia Fox about really to be honest even though she's probably way more interesting than what she lets on but I think my just overall kind of like you know snapshot theory on it would be when you're a legit artist and you see how hard and difficult it is to make a living being a legit artist and then you become the object of some men's eye and you get attention that way and then you also then transition and become the brief girlfriend post kim as well think about it he was julia was the first girlfriend on paper post kim it can be quite addictive that attention you're getting and also it's it's, it's, it's it's some level of success you see more success being the style icon um you know ex-girlfriend of Kanye West than you ever did being a legit artist or being a legit actress or an actor you saw it you've seen the evidence so I can understand why she's doubling down super hard right which is why we're getting a million and one looks of her walking down the street in those god-awful outfits we're hearing her do those you know TikToks where she's trying to impart her wisdom to like Gen Z kids and whatnot. And we're seeing her just going around town. And I think I read an article recently that she's releasing a book coming out that's going to be called Masterpiece or something. So clearly all of that kind of stuff that came from the back of the Kanye relationship has been pretty advantageous. It's kind of led to her to be quite successful outside of acting. Now, does she want to be an actor in a conventional sense? I don't really know. From what I've seen of her, she's you know more around the fashion people and the art people and the culture people than you ever see her really with that, the film movie industry type people. Who knows? She could be auditioning on the side. Who knows? She does have a young child, so that might make auditioning hard. She lives in New York. Maybe all the auditions happen in LA. I don't really know. But I thought this title this article and what she said was really insane because i always kind of saw her as being somebody that was quite um self-aware but this is really lacking in self-awareness or is immensely delusional but it says as follows i went from a pervy italian girl to a skinny and sickly julia fox says kanye west fling had a negative effect on her movie career and left her typecast the fact that she's saying that in the same line like skinny to sickly with a pervy telling girl to skin to sickly it kind of makes i know it's probably not the case because the context of the of the whole podcast has been eradicated by just taking out that one sentence but it kind of sounds like she's saying that going out with kanye made a developer's eating disorder or something or made her lose weight like what no, i don't know let's read the whole article so julia fox says her brief romance with kanye west impacted her acting career for the worst the 32 year old actress she's only 32 holy moly she looks way older way way older than me and she's 32 if you told me she was in her 40s i'd believe you wow speaking on a high low emrata podcast with emily radikowski monday said she realized things had changed in the wake of her high profile romance with west 45 early this year the only thing that to give her a bit of a blight because i remember seeing her when i used to be obsessed with like you know the the new york brands and aaron bondaroff and all those kind of guys and whatnot and all that art scene out there there's this blog i used to read all the time i think it was called like new york art city or new york something there's all these exhibitions that you check out but anyway i was i was obsessed with that sort of stuff that kind of lower east side art scene and whatnot so i kind of was, was familiar with her face i didn't never knew her name but i was familiar with her face so if she was from that scene that she lived a life like she was partying she probably did loads of drugs she probably stayed out a lot and maybe i'd assume now with the kid and living a healthy lifestyle she lives because clearly she's ripped as well i'd imagine she probably gave up a lot of that stuff and is probably sober so being sober now and having done all the drugs beforehand that's how probably catches up on you so that probably might account for why she looks so you know so old considering that she's so young it says as follows after the big relationship i definitely noticed a shift in the acting way not in a good way Anyway, Fox said, um, who attended the CFDA Awards on Monday, I'm not getting many offers as I was before, weirdly. There's been a lot of weird drawbacks with reaching that level of notoriety. But you can't blame that on Kanye, though. That's insane. And also, this sentence is odd because she's saying that she's not getting offers. From what I understand, even the great actors out there, even the ones that you, you think are awesome, awesome, they still audition. If you want the 
the more interesting projects and whatnot you don't get offered those all the time most of the things that you do day by day as a working actor to pay the bills and whatnot usually come from auditions you just do them you get them out of the way and you keep it moving maybe some will come for offers but for the most part everyone auditions so the fact that this lady thinks that she shouldn't audition and she'd be getting more offers through her way is a, more offers come her way is a little bit odd and maybe if you're a casting director or something you might think you might not think to offer her a role because you might not think she'd work for it i think that's the whole reason why auditions work right because you want to get a certain type of person at your audition if you're a casting a, to a movie or you're a director or whatnot if you're there then there's always an option that somebody's going to turn up that might be completely outside of what you're looking for but they might offer you a fresh spin on what you're trying to look for or they might give you an idea for some other actor that or some other role you want to get filled so the process of auditioning and i know it's embarrassing i know it probably hurts and it takes a lot of time especially i've done a small amount of extra work and i know that you know you spend a lot of time just sitting around waiting it can be really nine numbingly boring but in order to get those roles you just have to audition as much as possible it's just part of the gig it just is what it is the fun part of actually going and acting on on set doing scenes maybe going to premieres if you like that kind of stuff hanging out with your other actor colleagues is fun but the majority of your time is spent auditioning is spent waiting for an answer is spent waiting in the trailer is spent you know maybe set, maybe getting greenlit then getting cancelled before it's gone got on air it's a pretty brutal career but you have to put yourself forward for it so the fact that she's sitting there waiting for offers is odd and also saying that reaching this level of notoriety has its drawbacks well duh you're with the most famous guy on earth probably when it comes to Kanye and he's very um controversial also it's one thing being famous like bts famous harry styles famous where people just see you and like oh there's that guy right super famous oh wow people are running after him to be famous where you court controversy where you really elicit feelings that's something you realize a lot with kanye he really can elicit a feeling from you he can make you viscerally angry frustrated and like, the cultures have the same effect too i think that's that level of celebrity that's really high where you can make people feel an emotion and you know if you didn't know that before getting with him that's probably a you it continues fox i did that before dating west she was very she was really typecasted as a pervy italian girl and now i'm just like a skinny and look sickly and it's like i don't know so she kind of admitting that her drastic weight loss might have affected her way of getting roles or is she blaming kanye first i don't understand this she's cut there's this a, there's a lot of people that do this sort of like where you speak and you say two things at the same time without actually saying anything at the same time but I don't know let's continue on it says here you see her looking ripped as well and in good shape and whatnot but it could, it could make sense why if you looked one way and you're super voluptuous and now suddenly you're another way why it might affect your ability to get roles because you might have auditioned for the role looking one way then suddenly six months down the line you've lost a bunch of weight which is good for you but it's not maybe going to help your ability to get roles it's unfortunate but what can you do the milan Ital italian born beauty added that she felt that portion of the people People in entertainment business think she might be a liability and tabloid type person <sighs> fox appeared with adam sandler in 2019 cut uncut gem said that she was un undeterred by temporary setbacks and just had to trust the process she said fox who appeared in last year steven spielberg movie uh, no sudden move added it's fine i'm so busy i think things come to you at the right time so that's why i'm not really stressing i really don't care no you do care that's why this comes from okay this is probably where you're getting it from she's definitely having a little bit of a panic and maybe is seeing the end of this where she's not getting any younger she's not looking any younger she clearly loves acting more so than maybe doing the fashion styling type of thing and those roles are already drying up and already you know as um as an industry entertainment industry and acting industry in general doesn't necessarily favor or give women the advantage or the ability to work well into their old age right there's there's maybe a small handful of women who are working actors now you know in their 50s plus usually if you're a woman and you're that kind of age you don't necessarily get deals on tv you don't get to star in movies you just have to do maybe do local plays and theater and all that kind of stuff but if you're a julia fox and you want more and you want to go and do big movies and you want to be on network tv shows maybe you're realizing now that the time that you spent frolicking around and stuff has maybe hampered your career maybe being in a relationship with somebody like kanye west may have affected a little bit of it as well but even though i think it gave her more good than bad then maybe that's why the panic is setting in but to say that to sit to say that you're waiting for offers is weird because you should be auditioning regardless, and to also say that Kanye was bad for you is strange because I legitimately think he was a good thing. 
I still think the relationship was basically built on what most guys saw in Julia when they first saw her was that, oh my God, this is white girl with an amazing body. She's got a big bum. That's the first thing most guys saw and kind of got, you know, um, uh, kind of started kind of being obsessed with her. And I'm pretty sure that's what Kanye saw. I think Kanye one day must have watched Uncut Gems and then suddenly reached out to somebody and said, hey, do you know Julia Fox? I want to get to know her. And then they hung out. You figured, you know, and then she's a legit artist anyway. She's a legit person from the scene. So they speak the same language and clearly it worked. But I think that's where it happened and that's where it started from and that's what happened, basically, from that point of view. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think this is delusional to say the least that Kanye was a bad was a bad influence on her life and stuff. Come on, man. Would she have, got, would she have, would she have gone to Diesel without him? Let's be real. Would she have gone to Diesel without the guy? Let's be real. Come on. Come on. Continues. Fox subsequently revealed her relationship with West's interview in magazine. Um, an insider on E! told us in January about the relationship between West and Fox. He truly loved her energy and passionate personality and knew she would be a perfect person to bounce ideas off of. He thinks she was refreshing energy and that having a lot of fun. Kanye is working on creative, something creative, and Julia is definitely his latest muse. The couple dated until mid February with Fox telling the car in February 14th that things were much more amplified for her during her time dating the rapper. I've never been operating at that level of that yay yeah is. I've never wanted to be super mega famous it's a life ender um, for some celebrities they become reclusive paranoid and hide i refuse to not to not live authentically the mum of one she shares with son valentina 22 months with her ex-husband peter artimev spoke about the short-lived romance with west in a chat with es magazine in september saying that she would have definitely stuck it out and been there for longer prior to having a son it just seems like he had a lot of work to, a lot, he had a lot to work on and i just don't have the time for it or energy i don't have the bandwidth or emotional capacity for it i'm proud of myself for that that's an okay statement that makes complete sense especially seeing and hearing what kanye said recently i can imagine he's a nightmare to deal with as a flipping boyfriend i can imagine absolute nightmare but to suggest that he wasn't more good than bad for you is absolutely insane if you're a julia fox because no one cared for this lady before that relationship let's be honest and she's kind of unlucky also because if i'm not mistaken uncut gems came out around the pandemic time so she had no time to promote herself no time to bask in the glory of it because she was literally the standout star of uncut gems because no one really knew who she was and suddenly he was this voluptuous curvy white girl with a bum run down the street and acting amazing everyone wanted to know who she was and you could obviously use that lust and that kind of sexual appeal to kind of get you to the next level everyone's done it. it's not a bad thing um and she's i still think of a decent actor but pandemic kind of fucked her because she could not move around and do things because the world is basically closed and then on back of that maybe would she have the sun around the same time if it's 22 months maybe it was around the same time also so things happen in life right the, the, the breaking up of the son's dad the sun happening um you can't promote your movie that you're in because of a worldwide pandemic it kind of threw up all these things happening in terms of a career i don't know where she was going in terms of career before she met kanye even so yeah but to say that he was more bad than good is legitimately insane but regardless big up julia fox hope she figures it out regardless hope she figures it out